Hey, it's Mike Catano. I want to talk about Peloton Interactive. The stock trades on the NASDAQ under symbol PTON. The stock was down a little over 2% on the last trading day of the year, down to $151.72. You can see over the past month, Peloton has done really well, moving up from 114 to 152. And over the past year, Peloton has just done extraordinary, up from almost $30 up to 151 Now, Peloton may become an acquisition target for Apple, and the reason why I bring this up is that uh, the Peloton being acquired by Apple is a prediction from Scott Galloway, who's the professor of NYU Stern School, who is no usually about 70% of his predictions come true. And if you want to check it out, he has uh, his YouTube video here. You could just do Scott Galloway 2021 predictions and see his one-hour videos. Very entertaining and very informative. And I, you know, two of his predictions really stood out for me. One, I did already did a video that restoration hardware will double in price over the next 12 months. And then this one right here, that Peloton could be acquired by Apple. And the argument he makes here is Apple wants to dominate the attention economy. And he does this little chart here. It's very interesting. It says uh, 3.17 hours average daily time spent on smartphones in the U.S., 48 days time spent on smartphones per year. Uh, the time spent on an exercise machine is 1.08 hours. That equals 16 days. So if Apple can buy Peloton, then in total they could have 64 days of annual time spent with Apple products. So basically they're able to get a 33% increase on people on Apple devices by attracting Peloton. And if you know anything about the Peloton brand, it's actually a great fit for Apple because Peloton is an upscale, probably you could say the Apple of uh, home workout machines where you have, you know, you spend $2,000 for the machine and then you pay a monthly fee for the video, um, the live video instructors about $50 a month. So you not only gain someone to pay a high price for the machine, then you're getting that recurring revenue, that $50 or more a month revenue. And also when you think about it, Peloton replaces having to get your gym membership. And one of the things that I think is really intriguing about Peloton is let's say you're an executive, okay? You're already working from home. Why pay a hundred or $150 a month for an Equinox membership where you have to maybe get in your car, drive to the workout, to the uh, gym, do you work out and then you come back home? That takes an hour out of your day. And if you're on an executive level, your time is valuable. So Peloton is not just like a great company and a great workout machine. It's also kind of a time saver, especially if you're a very busy executive. So I think that's just another reason why Peloton is a great stock. And I definitely agree with Scott Galloway that, um, you know, right now Peloton's market cap is around $44 billion. Apple is a two trillion dollar company so they definitely have the money to buy peloton so definitely take a look at peloton uh, especially that it was down um it was down two percent that could definitely be a takeover target for apple and who knows apple may pay two hundred dollars a share for this stock so that might be a nice 25 you know 30 percent pop from its current price so definitely check it out again uh peloton interactive trace on the nasdaq under symbol p-t-o-n Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and go ahead, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I do multiple daily updates on stocks, options, and stock trading strategies. Thanks a lot. Bye.